Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks very much for joining us today. I'm Pat Philip Fairn, the Chief Product and Experiences Development Officer at the Bermuda Tourism Authority, and we're delighted to be here today to be part of the Masters International Ball Hockey uh, event that's happening right here in Bermuda this week. We are so happy to welcome this group, which is another way of Bermuda demonstrating that we're able to host wonderful sports events in the fall, through the winter, and also provide a wonderful experience for our visitors. This event has attracted 600 visitors at a time of year that they're really valuable to Bermuda. So we're delighted to congratulate the organizing committee um, and also to welcome the group here. We should also, as well as us being a sponsor, the Bermuda Tourism Authority, acknowledge the sponsorship of part other partners around the event. That would be Chubb, Bermuda Press, Gosling's, BFNM, Hamilton Princess Hotel and Beach Club, and Third Point Re. We have several speakers this morning, um, beginning with Minister Jamal Simmons, also Kevin Dallas, the CEO of the BTA, uh, George Gortzos, who is the president of the International uh, Ball Hockey Federation, and Tom Miller, who is representing the organizing committee. So now I'll, uh, I'll have uh, Minister Simmons join us. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, and good morning. On behalf of the Ministry of Economic Development and Tourism, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to Bermuda for the World Masters Championship. As Minister of Tourism, I am delighted to welcome the participants, coaches, guests, and international media to our beautiful island home. Bermuda is pleased to play host to this international event that has been held biannually since 2001. This is an exciting opportunity for Bermuda Ball Hockey Association, the Bermuda Tourism Authority, and the many sponsors and supporters of this event. Let me commend the BBHA who rose to the challenge to host World Master Championship in Bermuda this year. We are grateful for their determination and efforts to bring a world-class event to Bermuda. And as has, and has, has been mentioned, this is the first time much of the tournament will be played outdoors. In collaboration with the International Street and Ball Hockey Association, Bermuda will stage the first ever international ball hockey event at the Pembroke Community Club and the Oracle Facility in Duckyard. Participants and visitors will have an opportunity while on island to travel from both venues while taking in the beauty and hospitality that Bermuda has to offer. As we begin the next chapter of the National Tourism Plan, it is important that we engage in the on-island experiences to expand our sports tourism market. Working along with the BTA and sports bodies such as the BBHA, government is keen on ensuring that Bermuda is a feasible and logistically accessible destination for sporting tournaments. We will work alongside the various sports organizations to continue the work done already to bring schools, universities, and professional teams to the island for tournaments and training. This year, Bermuda has already proven that we can punch well above our weight by hosting the ITU World Triathlon Series. We want to keep this trend going, and that's why we are pleased to support the World's Masters Championship this week. Sports brings people together. This tournament will do just that for all involved. The athletes, fans, volunteers, and spectators. We're glad you're here, and we hope you have a safe and successful tournament. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Um, I would also like to commend the Bermuda Ball Hockey Association for putting on this fantastic event and helping make our job a little easier by bringing 600 people um, out here this fall. A an event like this is our sports tourism strategy at work. So here we have an event that fits Bermuda with 600 people, an event that rings the cash register for Bermuda, delivering nearly a million dollars of economic impact in a week-long event, and an event that is differentially better by doing it out here in Bermuda. So ball hockey is a sport for which people will travel, and it's a sport where by doing it in Bermuda, we're able to do it outside in this incredible venue behind us, in a place that's you know, a little bit different and a little bit better than you'd be able to do it uh, anywhere else. So this is exactly the kind of event and exactly the kind of sport that working with the Bermuda government and once it's up and running with the event authority, that the BTA will continue to target to bring here to Bermuda. 
to our local residents, I'd encourage you to take advantage of opportunities like that. This group needs help getting around. This group will need places to eat, places to sleep. To our visitors, I'd encourage you to get out and about and see Bermuda from Dockyard to St. George and come back as leisure visitors and see us again through the winter, the spring, and next summer. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's an honor to be here and on behalf of uh, the ISBHF and all its family that's here. Uh, these are the best players in the world that used to represent their countries at the highest level and still as veterans are representing uh, uh, their uh, country as great players. I want to thank uh, the organizing committee uh, for bringing us here and the Bermuda Tourism Authority. People would ask why Bermuda? Well, um, the fact that we uh, knew the Bermuda uh, organization since 2001 and they came to every world championship and all of us got to know Bermuda through them uh, brought us here to meet the BTA and uh, the combining of them both helped me present this to our members and I can only say that our members are thrilled with uh, what Bermuda has done and I believe that this will begin a lasting partnership and hopefully having us back again soon. The players are thrilled and I want to thank Bermuda and all of you for having us here. Thank you. I think we're good with that. Yeah. <laughs> good afternoon everyone. Uh, my name is Tom Miller representing the organizing committee. Uh, it's been a real challenge as you can imagine for us to host a, an event here. But uh, hey, look what we've got. It's unbelievable. We, you know, we, we've been proud of our little rink here that we've enjoyed playing for many, many years. And we, as George was saying, we've gone to all these tournaments and really never thought that we could do it here. But, you know, actually, he, George said, well, why not? And um, we uh, looked at it with the help of the BTA, figured out some of the logistical issues, and it's really worked well. So. Um, I must say, though, that we've had a host of volunteers uh, making this work. Um, this isn't a natural place for playing hockey, but it was uh, built, and it, it and they came. So um, it's uh, it's it's wonderful and beautiful day like this. What what could be better than playing outside? So I'm uh, very pleased on behalf of the organizing committee that it's gone so well, and uh, I could uh, I could recommend this to anybody. Sure, yeah. Parking is a bit of an issue, one of the logistical problems we had. Uh, we have unlimited bike parking, um, so please, if you can come by bike, that's great. Uh, we do have some car parking over in Admiralty Park. Uh, we're trying to keep that uh, organized so that we can make it as efficient as possible because it is limited. So um, if you're able to be dropped off, that's even better. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So there are uh, 600 people here for this event this week. Uh, the host hotel is the is the Hamilton Princess, who stepped up to uh, to sponsor the event. So that is going to be more than 1,200 room nights over the five-day event that's uh, that's here this week. I mean, I think this is a this is a very different kind of event than the than the World Triathlon, but they are similar in the sense that you know. These events bring players, they bring families of players, there's some really cute kids running around last night um, and sleeping over there, uh, over there today. So when we measure the impact of an event like this, you know, it is one part about how many players will come, but it's also one part how many other people will come around them. And it's also about what sort of exposure that we get from an event like this. So I think for something like the ITU, of course, we have the advantage that that is, that is actually a broadcast event. For an event like this, there's the value that comes from social media and from that hopefully we have, sounds like we have uh, 600 new promoters for Bermuda who will go home and talk not only about what a great place Bermuda is to play hockey, strangely enough, but what a wonderful place it is to visit, including in the non-summer months. Can 
Absolutely. So, I mean, for for an event like this, I think one of the things that actually really makes it work is is local inclusion. It's the fact that there is a Team Bermuda that's playing. And I think having that connection to our community is one of the things that brought this group here. And as, as we heard, I don't think they'd be here without it. In terms of the other sort of support infrastructure, we need the right kind of facilities. So, you know, if the facility that's behind us hadn't been built, again, I don't think this event would be here. It certainly wouldn't be as easy to imagine this event here. We then obviously need the hotel rooms, we need the transport, we need the willing local sponsors who are able to step up and support this event. And I think an event like this is where all those things come together and we deliver something that's unique and special for our visitors. So how long have we been working on um, bringing this event to Bermuda? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Uh, it was at the last World Championships in uh, June of uh, 2017 that uh, George asked us about, uh, you know, what we would consider hosting the Masters event. And, um, you know, I, I would say categorically thought he was crazy. <laughs> um, but, you know, he, uh, he persisted. And, um, and I, I've got to give a lot of credit to our organizing chairman, Matty Desjardins, who um, really grasped it and uh, got us all working together to say, okay, well, we actually, it would be great to really do it here. So we had a kind of a trial uh, tournament last fall about this time. Um, it, it went all right. It wasn't as big as we'd hoped it would be, but it, it taught us enough things about what we had to accomplish in order to make, the, uh, make it go. So uh, George came down, uh, when was that, George? Uh, around uh, this time last year. I right. Think. Yeah. And um, I guess he assessed how, you know, how, how is it possible that we could do it, particularly the need to have a backup facility. Um, that was a challenge for us. And um, we slowly knocked off all of the problems and away we went. I think we're good. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. All right. Thank, all right. You. Thank you, guys. Thank you.